Americans suffered their heaviest casualties of the war in Vietnam last week, 543 killed in action. Another 1,247 were wounded and hospitalized. The deaths raised the U.S. toll in the war so far to 18,239. South Vietnamese put their losses for the week at 522 killed. Communist losses were not reported. Contributing to those record casualties has been the steady communist bombardment of the Marine outpost at Khe Sanh. There, the North Vietnamese have been tightening their ring around the full square mile position. The military expects a full scale assault. extent did you feel that you were the author of stuff or that you were an instrument of things outside of your control? Well, I don't think I felt either. Uh, I just felt that I was serving at the request of a president who had been elected by the American people, and it was my responsibility to try to help him uh, to carry out the office as he believed was in the interest of our people. What is morally appropriate in a wartime environment? Let me give you an illustration. While I was secretary, we used what's called Agent Orange in Vietnam a chemical that strips leaves off of trees. After the war, it is claimed that that was a toxic chemical and it killed many individuals, soldiers and civilians exposed to it. Were those who issued the approval to use Agent Orange criminals, were they committing a crime against humanity? Let's look at the law. Now, what kind of a law do we have that says these chemicals are acceptable for use in war and these chemicals are not? We don't have clear definitions of that kind. I never in the world would have authorized an illegal action. I'm not really sure I authorized Agent Orange. I don't remember it, but it certainly occurred. The use of it occurred while I was secretary. Norman Morrison was a Quaker. He was opposed to war, the violence war, the killing. He came to the Pentagon, doused himself with gasoline, burned himself to death below my office. He held a child in his arms, his daughter. And passersby shouted, save the child. He threw the child out of his arms, and the child lived and is alive today. His wife issued a very moving statement. Human beings must stop killing other human beings. And that's a belief that, uh, that I shared. I shared it then, and I believe it even more strongly today. How much evil must we do in order to do good? If we have certain ideals, certain responsibilities, Recognize that at times you will have to engage in evil, but minimize it. I remember reading that General Sherman in the Civil War 
the mayor of Atlanta pleaded with him to save the city. And Sherman essentially said to the mayor, just before he torched it and burned it down, war is cruel, war is cruelty. That was the way LeMay felt. He was trying to save the country. He was trying to save our nation. And in the process, he was prepared to do whatever killing was necessary. It's a very, very difficult position for sensitive human beings to be in. Morrison was one of those. I think I was. Fifty thousand people came to Washington to demonstrate against the war. About 20,000 of them marched on the Pentagon. The Pentagon is a very, very difficult building to defend. We placed troops carrying rifles around it. U.S. Marshals in front of the soldiers. But I told the president, not a rifle would be loaded without my personal permission, and I wasn't going to grant it. did all of this dissent have on your thinking? I mean, Norman Morrison is 65, this is 67. Well, they were, it was a very tense period. Very tense period for my family, which I, I don't want to discuss. How is your thinking changing during this period? I don't think my thinking was changing. Uh, we were in the Cold War. And this was a Cold War uh, activity. 